Okay, so here we have our Bumblebee Snack on the Run Little Tuna Salad Kit. Um, these were on sale, and I bought them thinking they might make a nice work snack, but we're in quarantine, so that idea is shot to hell. So we got our pack of six maybe I can get this open. Six crackers, I think it is. Yeah, that's what the box says. Six crackers. Open that bad boy up. Okay, they seem fine. Like, just normal, uh, you know, like, party crackers. And then we got the little pre-made tuna salad already mixed, which is concerning, I guess. Maybe, maybe it'll be easier. Uh, tuna, water, vegetable broth, salt, mayonnaise, da -da 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 -da. celery, textured soy flour, sugar carrots, water chestnuts, something like glucono, delta, lactone, onion. Okay, well, I'm not normally a big fan of mayonnaise. Um, I'm pretty finicky about it. Okay, so it's all just in a little can here. Smells like tuna salad. So, uh, let's go ahead. I will spread some of this on some crackers. And then we'll sit down to have my lunch. Okay, I gotta be honest. I'm kind of picky about food. And let me tell you, this doesn't look like any tuna salad I've ever eaten in my entire life. So, usually when I make tuna salad at home, um, for any reason, it's, like, I like little green onion, maybe a little celery, or white onion, red onion, whatever. Onion, celery, maybe a smidge of dill. I'm just gonna do three of the crackers, and we'll see how that goes. Um, maybe a smidge of dill, celery seed flavoring, depending on what I have on hand. Okay, so I'm gonna sit down and then we will see how this goes. Okay, so now I'm sitting down at the table. I've got my little tray of snacks, uh, lunch, whatever it is. I got my napkin, drink. Okay, and I was looking in the viewfinder and I'm like, oh my God, I look like hell. Like, bags under my eyes and how pale I am. I mean, it's April 2020, so I haven't been outside even incidentally, barely. But, okay, let's see about this. You can see maybe a little better there. It has the chunkies in it, and I didn't put a ton on the cracker, but... Mm. It smells like artificial shelf stable tuna salad. Let's be honest. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's awful. Mm. Oh my God. Ugh. Never again. Ugh. Okay. Yeah. Um, thank God the garbage is right there. So, I'm not even gonna take a second bite and be like, oh, my second impression is, right off the bat, on a scale of one to 10, 10 being I would eat this every day willingly on purpose. Like I would eat it every day if I could. The Reese's Peanut Butter Cup scale, because Reese's Peanut Butter Cups are awesome. 
and one being I would literally only eat this food if it was a zombie apocalypse and nothing else was available. I'm going to give this like a 0.5. Mm, you know, if it was a zombie apocalypse and there was anything else available, I would go for that first. But I mean, if that was all that was available, like, you know, very end of season four, early season five, before they made it to Alexandria, Rick Grimes. I mean, at that point, I'd probably go ahead and eat it. You know, I mean, I guess if earthworms were available, I might try those first. So definitely don't recommend. Two very unenthusiastic thumbs down. Avoid.